Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the fourth most popular project in all games right now just launched today. That is Trailblazers, a puzzly portable game of hiking, biking, and kayaking built to survive the great outdoors. So it's already raised 31000 bucks, 30 days left to go. Uh, the reason why I'm covering this is because I saw it at Origins and I thought it had such cool packaging such unique packaging i said i want to cover this uh, now i will say the main image i'm not a big fan of the main image at all here it doesn't give me the player link the um the time count it doesn't like i feel like we should zoom in like look at how much space is just like ambiance whereas i think this is really the star of the show here this is a really cool looking durable case and i know they, they're trying to set the outdoor vibe but I, I just feel like zooming in would be great here. I can barely see the board. I'd also love to know a price because I imagine the price is going to be very reasonable on this one. Uh, because printing on one of these cases conceivably is not terribly expensive. Because I imagine there's a lot, there's a manufacturer that just makes a boatload of these cases and they just do a bunch of different things. But I'm just talking out loud now. I just love the idea of the case. But as always, when you go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? And now, what's the player length, the time count, and the age? Let's go trailblazers are the gutsy folk who pave yeah so that's way bigger than what i kind of conveyed with the main image with how far it was zoomed out and that's like that's that's a nice size case right and there brave the trails of the great outdoors whether by hiking boots cycling wheels or river paddle these tenacious travelers seek to feed their insatiable appetite for adventure embark on an epic quest of blazing hiking biking, and kayaking trails through careful card play. Simply draft and lay trail cards to chart scenic loops that start and end at matching campsites. Easy to learn but difficult to master, Trailblazers is highly approachable and endlessly engaging for gamers of all skill levels. Featuring a hard clamshell case, secure carabiner, sturdy waterproof cards. Woo! That was a good shot. I'm interested for this to add to my camping game collection for when we are out camping. Yeah, and I think that just, boom, bumped it up another level with the waterproof cards. Get out of here. That's fantastic. Two included expansions and three solo modes. Awesome. Trail Love that. Love that as well. Blazers is as boundless as... Showcasing the custom meeples there with the little bits of details. Like that a lot. The great outdoors. For there are always new environments to explore, further expeditions to undertake, and more trails. And then we got the lame-o, lame -o version here. Yeah, this is, this is where it's at. That's where it's at. To blaze. That looks like a game crafter. Size. Um, if you're familiar with GameCraft, that's about the size that it looks like. I'm trying to think of what else might be that size. I'm getting a vibe of a, uh, code names. Maybe that size style box. Okay. I always like to know the size of the box. I think that's a good thing to do. Also, oh, wait, does this come inside of that? Cause that'd be weird. Okay. So I like it after the video. Do I want it? Yes. Gameplay wise, does it, it didn't wow me or anything, but I feel like everything else around the gameplay you did a great job with there. And if that's the style of gameplay that you really enjoy, I definitely think they crushed it there. Especially mentioning, you know, there's three different solo modes, the artwork, the components, I think they did a great job. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? So Nick Murray of Bitewing Games, two creative thirty five backs. Let's check this out. Why won't it let me why what? <laughs> Okay, co-founder of Bitewing Games, a tabletop game publishing company run by two dentists. In dentistry, a Bitewing is an x-ray that allows us to analyze and view a tooth in a different way than it is seen with the naked eye. Our goal is to create and share games in a way that, much like the x-ray, will provide you with a unique perspective and exciting new experience. In short, we make classy board games that bite. And here's what I want to mention here. This is why I always think it's so personal, so fantastic to have a personal touch somewhere in your Kickstarter campaign. When I hear that this is a game being put out by two dentists, I immediately feel way more comfortable in the can you do it. Now, I know what you're saying. What the hell, Bauer? What? How does that make any sense? They're, they're dentists. They're not game makers. Well, because that means dentists make good cash. Like, they have the disposable income to push this across the finish line uh, if this is truly their passion project, which it looks to be. So I, I that's why I always think mentioning the personal touchers is a solid thing. Uh, also, if they're two dentists, you know, they got reputations. Two created, 35 backed. So then, plus they've done another thing. Reiner Nitzia's Criminal Capers Collection. So they they did some Reiner Nitzia stuff. Nice. Okay. Some small tuck box. Some small box card games. Yeah, these things. Okay. Wait, how large are these actually? Well, let's just make sure people got their stuff. I'm just. <laughs> that's what we're checking here. 
All right, third Thursday update, July 2022. That's a slick looking logo. Uh, is it out? That's all I want to know. Where's the shipping? I, I would. I wish they would put some more information potentially up here. Uh, Asia and EU rewards have been shipped. Awesome. So they're starting to ship stuff. North of are still delayed on the ocean. So some people have already gotten their copies of the game. Things are getting shipped. They're being communicative about it. Wow, I, I used that word correctly. I'm impressed. Um, so it looks like some solid customer service there. So can you do it? I do feel pretty comfortable on that one. They've shipped out games. People have games if you're in Europe or uh, Asia. But that still does mean that they've launched another project before they've shipped all of their first project which is something that some people don't like anywho trailblazers there's the game one to four players super travel edition one to eight players standard deluxe edition interesting not a fan of that because honestly i want the one to eight players but i want this i don't want that i want this uh 30 minutes ages eight plus so what i want to know is can i fit the one to eight players in here if i get that i'm gonna guess not trailblazers is the third spatial puzzle game by award-winning designer ryan corti while they share a similar puzzly DNA that fans have come to know and love, Trailblazers differs by featuring simple, highly approachable rules. Wow, so now they are spotlighting the previous games that the designer did, which I always think is a spectacular idea, especially when it comes to convincing people on the Can You Do It. Now, let's see if I feel like they did a good job on that, because I'm pretty sure Pipeline is pretty highly rated, isn't it? Question mark? Yeah, a top 500 board game? Uh, the number 252 strategy game of all time. Are you kidding me? I would totally name drop that a little bit harder. I think you should always be name dropping Board Game Geek and where you're ranked. Yeah, a top 1,000. Two of the top 800 strategy games ever released. You know, uh, one with a watch. It's just, I think maybe we put a little bit more respect on the name there. But that being said, this is very nice. I like the fact we're doing this here. Pipeline is fantastic. Curiox Cargo is a brilliant design also, but this is perfection. So then, that, that actually, that quote kind of does a little bit of what I was talking about there. So I do like that quote right there. I think it's a great little quote. Uh, we got the waterproof. That's a nice shot. Love this shot. Great. Very well thought out, beautiful game that is easy to get to the table, but also allows you to grow with it. Presumably because it's got the expansions. I already kind of know about it. All right. How to play. Ooh. Hi. First Fantastic. Part, so That's what I want to see right there. Spotlight in that video and towards the front. Great. Construct the hiking, biking, and kayaking loop. Push your luck to achieve greatness. That's awesome. I had no idea this was a put your luck game, and now I'm more excited. And once again, maybe that's something we mentioned on here in the marquee. Push your luck. It's a lot of people excited. And now I'm seeing how these cards use. This looks cool. This looks neat. Just looking at that, that looks fun. Test your skills across three addicting solo modes. I've created games in the past and then worked on bots to emulate missing players. But this is the first game where I played with ideas purely for a solo experience. One completely divorced from the multiplayer game. In my opinion, Epic Solo could have been released as its own standalone game. Interesting. That's the designer saying, hey, I did. I crushed this solo variant so hard, I kind of just want to make it its own dang game. That's how good it is. That's what I want to hear. Hi again, you are a prolific reviewer. Thank you, Too Fluent. Try to cover a lot of stuff. Click here to read the rule booklet. Try Trailblazer Standard Solo on Tabletop Simulator. Love that as well. Uh, on table multiplayer and solo. That's fantastic. Love it. Love it. Remember, got to double click. Always remember that. What is this? Oh, this is the player reference. Oh, that's the Adventurer Solo Mode Achievement Sheet. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. Look at this. Uh, there's the... Okay, there's the setup, the gameplay, pictures, illustrations, examples. This looks like a really rock-solid rule booklet right here. This looks like an enjoyable one to go through. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the back of the rule booklet. Yeah, it looks really nice, but I'm sure there could be some useful information that might potentially be better on there. But hey, you know, that's a nitpick. Previews. I want an absolutely lovely game. I don't have a crush. I think I have a crush on Trailblazers. Okay. Uh, there's the final thoughts. I can see this leaving my collection. It's just simple, puzzly, and fun. I think the only video I'm looking for right now is a gameplay. And there you go. Playthroughs. Beautiful. I, I'm a big fan of their video section here. And these are clickable. Delightful. This is going to be my. This is going to be a favorite with many gamers. And with the included travel hard case, it's also perfect to play at work during a break at school or while traveling or even camping. It's a keeper. But the only thing I don't think I've heard about is how quickly it takes to learn this. If this is the kind of thing where it is a quick teach, I would have spotlighted that potentially. I don't know if it is, though. Uh, teach and play through. And then we got the components. So... Okay, so now we're finally getting to the shopping section. 
Felt like it took a while to get here, but I don't feel like anything above this was 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 terrible. I thought it was all really well done. Case Caribbean or the Super Travel, we have the standard, then I have the deluxe. Nobody's getting this. I'm going to guess, but we will see. So this one comes with does not come with the adventure. It doesn't come with the epic solo mode either. Ouch, that's a herder. That's a herder. Absolutely finished, polished, and spectacular. So now I'm because I want this. But then all the stuff that I want here is over here. And I, ugh. All right, let's see the pledge levels. Super Travel Edition, 34 bucks, one to four players. I want you, but I don't. Let's see. I'm excited to see what the pledge breakdown is on this. I have no idea. Because the bottom line is, this being such a bare bones uh, edition, but still having that, that's the case. That's what I want. That's so weird. These are the two things that I want, and I can't have them unless there's a pledge level. Hopefully we get that. Standard Edition. No, get out of here. I don't want you. You're just a regular old board game. $79. Ooh, clamshell case and carabiner inside. Now, can I fit everything in there? That's my question. Deluxe edition features all content for the standard edition, plus the following upgrades. Oh, 339 cards. Wow. Hey, meta business suite. I don't know what that even means. Oh, some of them Ryan champions. Uh, okay, anyway, that's not as important. All 339 cards. That's it. I would, I would have spotlighted that number way earlier. It's been fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I would spot like that way earlier. I had no idea there was that many cards in this game. Okay, so this is it. What is it? 79 bucks. 79 bucks. Does this feel like a premium $79 game and we haven't got to the shipping yet? Oi. Oi. And I also need to know how much of the stuff can I fit. The Deluxe Edition will not be sold in retail stores. Hmm. Includes the clamshell case. These these even fit in the game box. Oh, so the clamshell case and carabiner fits into the box. But that's but I'm I'm wondering if the reverse works. All right, Trailblazer stretch goals. We planned that stretch goals were not necessary for this Kickstarter project. We have already planned and budgeted for a high quality pro production with feature complete gameplay, regardless of which reward you pledge for. <clears throat> Why back now? Okay, Deluxe components, discounted kind of price, bring it to life. Shipping buried at the bottom as per normal. Shipping will be charged after the Kickstarter campaign through our pledge manager. Since our previous Kickstarter campaign, by Gang Six worked hard to reduce shipping prices for our backers. We are pleased to share that our efforts have been successful and are reflected in the estimates below. That said, ocean freight prices, we got it. Click here for shipping estimate. Why, why do I have to click? Why is this an extra click? Like, why, or just put it up there like everybody else. Just, you know, like, look, look, bam. What is it? This, bam. Here we go. Screenshot. There, just bam. Pop it up there. Um, all right, so. U.S. nine bucks standard and deluxe edition thirteen bucks. So now I'm looking at a ninety-two dollar game. I think it was or eighty-two. So let's check out seventy bucks on the fence. Print and play three backers. Not many. Wouldn't expect it. Fifty-eight people want the super travel edition. Uh, Fifty-three people want the standard edition. But then yet yeah, most popular the deluxe edition at three hundred and twenty. Then we have the retailer pledge at four backers. That's not bad. Are they getting four of the? Um, I'm imagining the cases because I imagine that would be the one that I would want in a game store because it's just so distinctive and unique. Big point great job for me there i'm not a fan of those three tiers agreed uh and it's 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 weird it's weird it just it's so it feels almost like it's two separate products there and and, and even the designer himself kind of said that like yeah this, this is kind of its own game that's how big it is and ambitious uh so 320 backers so it, it's coming to life though tim kaiser we got the developer illustrator so now i am sitting at 92 dollars Hmm. That's that's a hefty price. That's a beefy price for that. And I know it's got the distinctive packaging and it's got great components, but that it feels a bit high for what I'm expecting. Like a $92 Kickstarter project. I think I just kind of expect a little bit more, but this is so distinct and different with these custom meeples. And once again, how many cards was it? Did they say like 300 cards? Are we I feel like what we're missing here is the long, sexy scrolling shot that really... Yeah, so 339 cards, it's kind of spotlighted, but not nearly enough. I would zoom in on everything. How many of these cards? How many of those cards? What are they different about? What's it, Show me some of the artwork, those little things. Because uh, the price doesn't seem like a great one to me at first glance. Risk and challenges? All right, so let's check out the FAQ. Uh, so there's 10. Tell me more about the retailer pledge. Uh, I, okay, yeah. Uh, will trailers be translated into other languages? Is there a group? Okay. It looks like an FAQ. I don't, re I don't organize it like Reload from Colossal Games. It just launched today, so no update. Should have been $24, $35, and $59 for the three tiers, I think. Yeah, 
It does. It's just that extra $79. Like, that just feels like a big jump for the size of this game. And yes, I know it's technically like you're getting two games, because you have this game with a whole bunch of the game in it, and then you have this traveler thing that you're going to take camping with you. But putting those, I don't know, it just feels like 40 and 40 to me, and that seems like a hard sell especially when we factor in the shipping as well because then it jumps up to 46 and then if you're anywhere aside from the united states it's jumping up even higher the shipping section is not fun i still don't know about the vat unless it's costing here oh here it is uh vat just looking for the word vat shipping for one game shipping oh actually wow tell you what those are bad south korea 16 those, those don't actually look like pretty decent shipping prices uh, to me to the eu dang eu's at 14 bucks go you so I'm wondering if they they offset a little bit of the international shipping, but at the, the, the cost of the USA shipping, because, or I wonder if they can't manually, because I'm trying to wonder how this ships. I'm wondering if when they ship it, if it's two separate products, or if the case is actually going to be inside of the box, which to me would make the most sense. But then at that way, like that, oof, like that size box at $82, you know, $92 after shipping, that's just a really hard sell for me. Uh, so let's check out the comments. Let's get out of here. Really excited about this one. Everyone here is super smart and ahead of the time for backing this now. This is one of the feel of those slow burn gems that grows into a household name over time. Beautiful production. Well done package. Very impressive. Excited. Congrats on making it to the stage. And I actually agree with Tom to a certain extent there. Like, the, the, if you saw this game at Target, at Walmart, it had a Rodney Smith how to play video or a good how to play video up there. I could see this being the kind of mass market thing, especially depending on if it's a light game. Uh, the reason for $79 is three, three, 339 PVC cards. Yeah, 339 waterproof cards. Holy crap, yeah. So my brain didn't make those two connections, but yeah, now that you say that, because it was, okay, that makes a lot more sense. All right, so anywho, final grade for this one. Do I want it? Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. But the 339 cards are all waterproof. Are these ones waterproof as well, and do they fit into there? Because it's like, I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, do I want it? Yeah, I think it looks cool. Can you do it? Yes. I feel comfortable-ish. Yeah, and they've already made 31000 bucks on the first day, so yeah, I do feel comfortable. If this was sitting at, say, like, 4000 bucks after the first day, I'd be like, mm, that seems a little, a little concerning. So I'm feeling good. Can you do it? Yeah. How much is it? Um, I don't feel like it's a great price, but once again, it is waterproof cards, and I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad Nick spotlighted there in the chat. Um it's still it feels for the actual gameplay itself because i actually we had to talk about this somebody mentioned this i think it was i don't know who mentioned in the comments we had a filler weight game that was 60 dollars for the base game in the expansion last week and it, it was like well filler weight game at 60 bucks that seems like a smidge bit and then this one you know for what this game is at least i don't know i'm gonna go with a b i think final grade on this one overall i think it is well done i think that main image could definitely be spruced up but i liked the video i liked a lot of what's going on here i think they did a good job of spotlighting this a great video section i'm gonna go with a b plus on this one sean's going b b minus range was a fun ride but bad price it was not a fan of the shipping section yeah the shipping section was a bummer but i, I think i'm going with a b I th yeah i'm gonna go with a b on this one I think I will, because, yeah, the 320 for the, the waterproof cards, that kind of makes up for the price. Uh, but, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade of this one. C-plus there could be FAQs for this one. Yeah, I agree with that as well. But I do think they crushed it on the video section, which I think says a lot. But let me know in the comments below, as always. Thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.